Oh, guys, I need to talk about this. I need to talk about OV3. I know I've done many, many different versions of the Magoff, basically showing the problems of of freaking t freaking OVA three, but nah, we need to talk. Okay, let let's. I mean, they really. The one thing I really can't stand from it is Tin. Is the fact that they made Tinchy's mom. And let me use a little quote from Sage. The bad season three revealed that she's awful. Yeah, turns out his mom goofed on him all the time and wanted to play mean jokes on him, even after she died. She convinced everyone from his dad to his granddad to play along with a lie just so she could have a laugh at Tenchi from beyond the grave, I guess. Why in the world would anyone do this to a little kid? What's wrong? And, and Tenchi's reaction to all of that, to, to all that shit that his mother did, even making that fucking script, is so understandable. Because he always thought his mother was this, this, this beacon of light and shit. I mean, Tenchi Mugyo Forever, I don't even know, I don't know if that's even, I mean, Tenchi and Love, Tenchi and Love, I don't even think that's connected to Mugyo, per se. I think it's connected to freaking, uh, Universe. And the Universe version of, uh, the Universe version of Tenchi's mom is better than this. I'm like... You are f I'm like, why, everybody? Why? Did you all think that this shit was funny? Tenji's mom was just a horrible, horrible person that just loved to pull pranks on Tenji. Ha uh ha -huh. I'm not, like, it's not cool. It wasn't even cool. And Tenji's reaction to this whole entire thing is so understandable. And, yeah, if I was, if I was like Tenji and I lost my mom at a very young age, and I was all, you know, and I was always thinking about her cry crying, you know, here and there when I was little, just to find out she was a, just to find out that she was, you know, mother loving crazy. I think, you know, I would probably react the exact same way, but I'd be a lot harsher. And everybody can freaking. Everybody can freaking testify that. Oh boy, guys, 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 I just... And... And I can already talk about the whole Mahoshi... The Mahoshi subplot with his... With her fucking brother. Okay, it never occurred to any of Mahoshi family once when you were talking about Tenji, like, hey... Uh, we should probably look into this Tenchi dude. You know, see if she's right for our daughter. But no, no, no. Her fucking brother, which he kind of, she sometimes barely even remembers half the time. You know, thinking that Tenchi's some sort of pimp. Tenchi ain't no pimp. Tenchi, I mean, Tenchi has a whole bunch of girls, but he ain't, he ain't like, he ain't like a, he's not like a fucking... He's not like this fucking harem king. You know? Like, I would be like, if I was in the anime, I'd be like, motherfucker, I'm about to show you some tape. You look, and if you don't shut the fuck up about Tenchi being this pimp, when I know for goddamn, I know for goddamn fact it's bullshit, look. I mean, seriously, it'd just be one subplot already taken care of that no one needed it's just and then and then you know guys I've read the novel I even have a copy of the not the fan translated novel on my computer and that is like leaps and bounds better than OVA 3 and I'm like looking at my I'm asking myself why I'm asking myself and I'm asking and I'm asking the people who own Tenchi's rights at this point, why didn't you make it? Why didn't OVA three be this novel, a freaking version of this, a, just be an anime version of this novel? Because it references the, it references the old shit. It has it has 
more of a creative story than OVA 3 could ever possibly have. And yeah, it didn't add a chick just for the sake of adding a chick. I mean, you know, Tenji's new love interest is okay. At least she has more of a character. But I feel like she was unnecessary to the to the basic plot. Now, on Tenji Muyo, on the other hand, now that's a different story. It did everything that OVA 3 tried to do, but actually did it even, actually did it better. Sure, you can watch all the episodes in like, probably like an hour, because I feel like if you put all those parts together, it would be an hour long. But, and this is a big but, even though it adds characters, and probably adds another love interest, these characters are actually engaging. And sure, I know we get was engaging too, but, but yeah, there's just so many th other things wrong with that. And you guys wonder why I like freaking Tenchi GXP, the spinoff after OV3. You want to know why? Because I actually, ha I actually was entertained, you know, even though it's just a spinoff, and if you look at the little, if you look at the back of the DVD of your Funimation DVDs, it's like connected to the to it's connected to the Tenchi Muyo universe. I had more fun with that than I ever did with OVA three. And on Tenchi Muyo is like leaps and bounds better than that. Even though some people got turned off with Tenchi being stripped, I'm like, motherfucker, Tenchi has been stripped so many times. Do you even do you even understand how many times Tenchi has been stripped? It has happened so many times. I fucking lose count. Everybody wants his penis, okay? You all just need to deal with that. <laughs> like seriously, the bringing a bridge, the bringing a bridge, like light hawk wings. They uh, the, the main dude. He's like, I don't even know. If they wanted to freaking take Tenchi's freaking boxes off and slap. Slap his penis in their faces. Now that would have been that would have been interesting, but that's more the lines of hentai, which I wonder to myself, how come no one has made a freaking hentai scene of freaking watch you, you know, jerking off Tenji? I I don't know why. Like why has its own jumped on that shit? Like seriously. It'd be like, what if, what, what if Mahoshi never got in, or did get in, but also, you know, something like that. I don't know. I just, I'm thinking about that now. <sighs> but anyways, it's just like I just get so. Um, I'm just like, oh, we three. It's just. Why? Why did you even exist? You had so we had so many other materials to pull off from. You chose this. You chose this, and it's just this unfunny thing. You have Mahoshi and freaking. You have a. You have freaking. You know. You have freaking. You have freaking. You have Aiga and Ryoko pushed to the wayside for the new character, and I feel like that's kind of up because in the Dodenchis that are pro that are not even canon, they actually you know, Tenchi actually gets them both pregnant, which I'm like Dude, how did you even how did you even manage that? Seriously, how did you even manage that shit? But you know, and saying that saying his children and Tenchi's Tenji's two daughters married with them. It was kind of weird because I think they're cousins. It's kind of weird, but, you know. It doesn't matter because you know the Dragon Family Tree is all about that incest. Uh, okay. I feel better now. Um, but you know, you know, I just kind of, you know, I just wish that some of this. Like, Hexagon Love would have just gotten an adaptation. Like, you know, the, the Tenchi Forum guys have basically translated the first novel, and I think 
soon they'll translate the others. It's just all the more reason for freaking any, like, those anime studios to just be like, hey, people actually want to see Hexagon of Love be, um, Hexagon of Love actually adapted for an anime. I mean, they, I don't even know. They'd probably have to make, it'd probably be a whole different separate universe. Because, you know, OVA3 is can <laughs> OVA3 is can <laughs> Well, I don't think it is, actually even is canon anymore. But if it is, it's kek. You know what I mean? It's k So, anyways, though, um, another thing I wanted to talk about is, like, it's Sunday. I, I finally got to play Dragon Ball Online. I actually like it. But I'm like wondering when will it be the time when I freaking turn super, my character can turn Super Saiyan <laughs> and do that cool shit because I understand in all MMOs, in all MMOs you gotta start somewhere. I get it, but I'm like, there's a turn. I should probably. Nope, nope, no, nope, I don't got time. I'm talking to you guys. But you know, guys, it's it's like Okay, let me explain. It's like it's just like I wish I still wish that uh Hexagon I still wish that Hexagon Love actually got adapted as its own little anime because it has so many it's it's actually very entertaining. I mean, there's a part where I like Ryoko loses her mind, and I won't tell you how. I won't tell you why, but it's pretty awesome and kind of in some ways. It's kind of very it's sad too. And oh, and Tenji's like so about to be married to Aika. You know, he freaking Tenji's dad like says. I would cut off my head to see your mother again. Before they made, before they made Tenchi's mother, before OVA three made Tenchi's mother into the most horrible person that they can ever possibly imagine. You know, that's just how I, that's just how, that's just how I kind of see it. You know what I mean? This is how I really truly see it. They could, they could have done this. They, they could have, but they chose the lazy way and didn't. Eat, when they, and they really didn't even expand on anything. When I really think about it, they didn't even expand on a whole lot, like all this other stuff. We just kind of, they just kind of, like sweeped over a whole bunch of things, and like at the very end, we find out that. Kagato is a male clone. Kagato started out as the Navidite, and like uh, the freaking Kagato we know is like the male side of him, and all this other weird shit. And then it's like, okay, then why did? He, and then everybody goes like, hey, Ashi, why did why did he hate you and all this other stuff? Why do he hate women and, all, and you and all this other stuff? And then they're like. She's like, no, I can't really, she basically goes like, nope, I can't really say, I'm like, you end OVA3 on that note, you end it on that note, seriously, seriously watch, seriously, writers, you end it on that note, nothing gets expanded, nothing really truly gets explained, Nope, we just no no we just give we just give you a little bit of something, and then it's gone. You see why I liked all the other expansive TG stuff, like GXP, GXP, and even like Warren Gemini, because yeah they don't they don't spend they don't expand on Tenji's character. 
But they do expand the world, the universe that Tenchi lives in. Hell, even Warren Gemini kind of expands a little bit on that, but I wish they would have... I wished... I wish, they, I wish they would have shown, like, the girls... Uh, because Kenshi was, like, little, and, uh... She, he'd remember, like, Washu doing, like, experiments on him and stuff. You know how, you know, how, like, Washu does. And, yeah, we don't, you know, I wish they would've, I wish they would've, I mean, they get mentioned, but we don't really see them at all. We just see, like, we only see, like, them get mentioned and probably, like, we see their bodies, but not their heads and, like, you know, in a little kid uh, flashbacky fashion. You know, and now Tenchi Muyo. Now, again, that was good. Hell, I even had. Hell, I even did a video acting like my old classic self from my old stories when, when I saw when I saw Ryogo again, which was the usual, which was the response that everybody technically expected from me. And I wouldn't lie. I mean. Ryoko did look, attra look attractive in this new series, I ain't gonna lie. I'd be lying to myself. But, yeah. And the animation was pretty good. I mean, yeah, Tenji's character character design was a little different, but it was the same dude that made Dorara. So, I wasn't really even... I wasn't even mad. It was just, like, kind of cool when I really thought about it. Like, at first I was like, what the fuck? What the what the Chichi? What are you gonna be a Dorara? What's up? But then I just really started to enjoy it. And, you know, I liked it. I even liked Odd Tenchi Muyo, and I'm probably gonna watch it again. I keep saying Odd Tenchi Muyo, I might just watch it again, you know? It's that good. It's the only thing, it's the only thing that has recently come out that's Tenchi related. I don't know if it's still connected to Muyo, but I. I believe that it still is. Then I guess it doesn't. Does that mean? Uh, and I don't know. Maybe this would. Maybe this kind of sort of generated some buzz for a new Tenchi series. But uh, I don't know because they, you know, after after uh, Tenchi Muyo officially ended, we haven't heard anything about a new Tenchi series. So I don't really know. All I can tell you guys is that. Read the, all I can tell you guys is just wait until Tenchi Form is done and they can just translate the rest of those novels because that's the only thing we're going to get or or read those translated Dodenchis because I think they have those. That's all I can really say, but you know, as a Tenchi fan, fan and a real good fanboy, you know, I enjoyed uh, Tenchi Muyo. And if I could really give it, like, an actual rating and it actually would have meant something, yeah, it would be five stars. Because it does have a slow start, but it is supposed to be watched, like, continuously. You know, it's split up into, like, little tiny five-minute, four-minute pieces, but you are supposed to watch it, like, continuously, like one big package. I think this was actually, I think God Tenchi Muyo was supposed to be some sort of movie, and yeah, they just kind of split it up into these little shorts. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Maybe I'll talk a little bit more about Tenchi, because I did talk a lot about GXP. Maybe I'll talk a little bit more about uh, uh, Warren Gemnar. I gotta watch it again, but we'll talk a little bit more about that. Well, guys, see you later.